right, Miss Julie is going to have story time for us. Is that better? Okay. Um, so, kind of rainy today, um, but is everybody having a good Sabbath? Good. So today I want to talk about some Bible verses um, in Matthew and Luke, and it's about judging. I know, do any of you have a phone? Get on your phone. Does anybody get on a phone? No? How about you? Get on the phone. Okay, I'm guilty of getting on the phone and getting on social media like Facebook and Instagram. And it seems like anymore the world is kind of flipped around. Good is bad and bad is good. And if we think that things that are sinful, that tell us in the Bible that they're sinful, if we think they're bad, people kind of poke at us and say, you Christians are bad and you're judgmental. Have you ever heard that, that Christians are judgmental? And I think we kind of get a bad rap because my Bible tells me, this is in Matthew 7, and it says, Judge not that you not be judged, for what judgment you judge, you will be judged. Meaning, if you judge somebody and think they're doing something bad, you may get judged too. So we have to remember that as Christians and be very careful we love everybody. And it's Jesus' job to especially judge the heart, right? We can't judge the heart. Jesus judges the heart. So I want to tell you a little story about accidentally judging somebody. Has anybody ever been on an airplane trip? Who's been on an airplane? Okay. And when you go to the airport, do you know you have to go like two hours early, right? And then what do you do when you get there? You sit in the boarding area at the gate and you wait and you wait. And it seems like it takes forever. And there was a young lady that was taking a trip and she was in the boarding area waiting and she was already at the airport like two hours early. And the boarding area was really crowded because it was gonna be a full flight. And they come on the announcer and they say, we have a problem with the airplane and it's gonna be about an hour late. So now this girl has to wait for three hours in the boarding area in this crowded area with everybody sitting around. And she thought, well, I'm going to go to the gift shop and I'm going to get a book so I can have something to read. I'm going to get a couple little snacks. And she found a book. She went through, you know, several different books. And she found a book she liked and she wanted to read. And she got a bag of cookies. And so she went to the cashier and she paid for it. She took everything and she put it in her bag. And she went back to the boarding area and it was even more crowded now. So she had to sit in there with people kind of on both sides of her. And she sat her bag down. She got her book out and she was reading her book and it was a really good book so she got really engrossed in this book and she wasn't paying much attention. And so she reaches down and she was trying to fiddle with her cookies and open the bag of cookies and she wasn't paying attention and she was reading her book and the guy next to her, she sees him reach down beside her and he pulls out a cookie and he's eating a cookie and she thinks, the nerve of this guy, he's a cookie thief. I mean, what? And she was kind of one of those people that didn't like confrontation and she was going to try to avoid a scene. So she just thought, well, I'll let him have a cookie. No big deal, right? And so she reads and reads a little more. Next thing she knows, she sees this guy next to her reach down in the bag again and eat one of those cookies. And she thought, this guy is truly a cookie thief. I can't believe this. And she tells herself, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to cause a scene. And so she's thinking, maybe he's hungry and, you know, I'm a nice person, or at least I think I'm a nice person, so I'm going to let this old cookie thief just go ahead and steal cookies from me. And so she goes through all this for about, oh, I don't know, she was waiting, you know, another hour or so before they started boarding the plane, and the whole time, this guy's just reaching in and grabbing her cookies, and she's thinking, he's going to notice eventually that I'm eating these cookies. So she's reading her book, and they start calling for boarding. She gets on the plane and she gets her bag and she puts her book in her bag and she sits down and she puts her bag underneath the seat in front of her and she reaches inside her bag to get her book and she found her bag of cookies and they were unopened. <laughs> 
And she looked around at the plane and found the guy, and here he was with a half a bag of cookies or already opened and eaten. So she was eating his cookies. She was the cookie thief, and she thought he was the bad guy. All that time, she's judging this man, saying, you old dirty cookie thief, you. And she was stealing his cookies the entire time. So see, you have to remember, even when you think you know, that somebody's doing something bad or wrong or sinning against Jesus, you have to remember it's God's job to judge us and judge our heart and know what's really going on. Amen. So just keep that in mind and don't steal cookies from anybody, okay? <laughs> Would anybody like to say a prayer? <laughs> no, nope, no prayers? Okay, let's bow our heads. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for the words that you put in our Holy Bible that teach us what we need to be doing in life. Thank you so much for the blessing of being able to come here to church and gather together and hear stories and fellowship with one another. Lord, we ask that you bless us throughout the week and get us back here safely next Sabbath. In Jesus' name, amen.